Hey everybody, it's time for another Tony's Titbits. And today I am unboxing a new Chromebook. So we've had these Chromebooks, it's, this one is in particular made by Dell. And it's a 2-in-1. So it's like 11 inch 2-in-1 that goes all the way. And I like this design because the kids can uh, play with the screen like a tablet. But also it can fold out and become an actual... Um, Chromebook or laptop like Cam Show. And this is great, but it is definitely underpowered. It has a Intel Celeron with four gigs of RAM. I got it pretty cheap to be honest. And it just, the experience wasn't so great because of the power of just like the, the touch and with the games, it just did not really suit the needs. Now, was it great for web browsing? Yeah. Was it great for like ebooks and reading their stories? Yeah. It, it served its purpose, but this thing is no longer getting any security updates. So I figured it's time to go and seek for another solution. What I have here is the Lenovo Duet 3. Now I'm not sponsored by uh, Lenovo at all. I did buy this on my own accord. Um, this particular Duet has a Qualcomm uh, Snapdragon 7C, 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigabytes of memory, and it has a GPU, and it has, you know, it has a, it's 11 inch screen, uh, and it's pretty compact. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox this and sort of give you the use case that um, we are going to leverage for this particular machine. All right, so this is the Lenovo box. It comes sealed. It has all the specs and everything um, in the back. And I'm just gonna take a and cut the shrink wrap here, just to show you what's what's all is included. Now, this particular model comes in two variants. One is an eight gig version, and one is a four gigabyte version. Um, of course, with um, all things, um, the more RAM, the better. And I've been waiting for the eight gigabyte to actually come in stock so I can buy it at a good price. And, uh, this particular one was, um, happened to be at a good price. So I bought it, uh, probably pretty much the lowest point ever. So, uh, here we go and unboxing it, um, on this side, a little box here. And if you open it you'll notice it has the charger. And I love this type of charger. It's so portable, it's USB-C. It, uh, it's just great that we're moving in this direction of really super compact chargers. I just wish this flipped, but hey, you know what? I'm sure Amazon has plenty of these that I can buy that would charge it with USB-C because it's a standard. So um, that is definitely awesome to have. Um, take that along. You probably charge your phones and whatever you you want. And here is the actual thing here. This is this is it. This is the screen. Oh, but so oh, let's move that here. It has a camera. It has these this um, this uh, magnetic dock. So you can see, you can actually, from 11 inch, this is a really good ebook reader, uh, could be used, um, it's highly portable. Look how thin this thing is. It's just, it's great. So it's thin and has that portability factor that I, that I always look for. In this particular box, it has the case and the keyboard. So here, with this little hole here, so I keep bouncing that. So this little hole here is to is a case with a pen, which I'll show you. The cool thing is this actually comes with a pen, so you can write on the screen, draw on the screen. So it has that. Um, this is magnetically uh, will will bend so that you can um, use it on the back, and I'll show you that in a bit. And here is the keyboard and. As you know, Lenovo has pretty good tactile uh, 
feel for the keyboard. So this I would expect to be also in that same uh, uh, feel. Um, here you have the, uh, the, the, the holder and you have the pen. And here, this holder basically goes on the back of this to hold the pen. And the pen basically just goes into the holder. So um, when I get that um, set up, I will show you. That's it. I mean, there's a, there's a booklet and stuff, but really nothing else to, to be seen here. Um, so once I get to the point to take this off, uh, so here is the screen and then I'm just gonna peel this away here and you can see that beautiful really thin very light screen you can look up the specs online so I'm not gonna go through the specs I'm really showing you my first response on um, on the unboxing and my initial reaction to it now, this dock is magnetic. Boom, right there. So it's in there. And this folio case, if you will, goes right on top. So align the camera and it's magnetic. And what I found as a tip is when you're holding it, look how compact this is. It has a case, it comes with this, it comes with the pen. This is really awesome, right? What I find in order to open this up, the best way is to fold this up first, flip it, and, it, and then move the keyboard down. So now you have uh, the, the, the Chromebook set up in a spot that you can actually use it, so like a laptop. And then just reverse it, just push it down, push it down, and you're good. So the cool thing is this comes with its, uh, a pen. So you can use it. Um, let's power it up. Let's see what what we have here. So I'm just holding in this button on the side. The two top buttons. You can see the two top buttons here. That's for the volume. Here is the uh, power button on the side here. And let me just hold it in for a little bit and you're going to see the Chrome OS pop up. Taking longer than I thought. Here, hold on a second. Hmm. It's not powering on, so maybe I should give it a little bit of time here. All right, so maybe I need to charge it. So let me let me go and charge it, and I'll come back and kind of give you a final thoughts. All right, so I have it set up here, and if you look at the back you'll see that I have the pen dock already on the folio. And all you have to do is just pretty much, it's not magnetic, but you all you have to do is slide this pen out of its case. Uh, hard to do with one hand here. And you're able to just use this. Um, yeah, not magnetic at all. But when you're done, just slide it back into its spot and it just holds it there. So that's pretty nice. And I did, put in the charger so it is um, on and then all I can do all I have to do is hit that the Chrome OS comes on and then this beautiful screen that comes on that's responsive um, I can hit get started and then put in all of my the details for my Wi-Fi so this is definitely uh, so far a really good uh, experience and I will show you some final thoughts. All right, here are my final thoughts. Um, and actually this feedback comes directly from my kids. Uh, one thing that of the Lenovo Duet 3 that they like is they say that it can become a tablet. So they can, you can either fold it this way, 
they played uh, a game so that you can fold it this way to make it like a two-in-one let me close this here and then you could actually detach the keyboard to make it like an iPad they call it an iPad just like a tablet um, they do like the pen so that when they're being creative and can draw they have this pen and it came included with the with the actual device itself um, again with just like with Chrome um, the screen does orient itself this can be a very good e-reader to be honest um, you can use this as an e-reader and, and read books it, the battery life is about seven to eight hours depending on your use so it's definitely good um, I I don't know about this so this part um, is nice to be able to have something like a, a tablet like this and this is separate I wonder if it would be better like in the Surface Pros that is integrated I like the flexibility but then this often can be dislodged or not be in the right place so definitely something to watch out for because um, you would just have to buy another one and I'm not sure how much this costs but so far it's been pretty durable uh, if you're into just media consumption this is a great option so you can just put it on um, your desk like that and just watch your videos um, often my wife would take her um, duet 3 and just when she's sewing actually have this to watch some YouTube videos so it's uh maybe she's watching Tony's tidbits you know but anyway so this is a great versatile device I like devices that are versatile have many uses and um, I highly recommend this Lenovo Duet 3. Uh, if you want a larger screen, they do have the Lenovo Duet 5, which is a 13 inch screen. So look into that. Make sure that you get an eight gigabyte version. So the eight gigabyte version really allows for um, speedy uh, processing, uh, allows you to open many apps and not be frustrated with your experience. So definitely the Snapdragon 7C is a plus because it's really great for this type of device. Uh, eight gigabytes of RAM. There is a four gigabyte of RAM version that it's probably going to be okay, but I would just go ahead and wait or spend the, you know, the $30 more to get the eight gigabyte. Now, sometimes you, it's hard to find. So just make sure be really resilient in trying to find that 8 gigabyte version. But this comes highly recommended from me, and we it was it's so good that we have three in our house now. So um, definitely pick one up if you're looking for one. Again, this is Tony with Tony's Tidbits. Please, if this has helped you, like it, and if you want to receive additional videos in the future, please subscribe. Again, until next time.